Good morning. It is Saturday on this bright and sunny day, and you know what time it is. It's time for another vlog. So, uh, today's Saturday, and I'm off to the gym quickly. It's a little later than I anticipated, um, as usual. Um, there's a... Um, there's a Giants-Jets game today at 7, and there's also a Mets game, um, but I don't have tickets to the Jets and Giants, um, although I've been looking because I'd be actually more intrigued to go to that, um, but it's surprised to say, it, since it's popular, it's a little expensive, so I'll, I'll just go to the Mets game that I already have tickets for. Um, interesting start time for the Mets game, it is at 4 p.m., believe it or not, not 1 p.m., not 7 p.m., but 4 p.m. So this actually gives me the opportunity to head to the gym today since usually the start times on weekends are 1 o'clock. Usually I say, not always. Could probably be on a train by like 1.30, 2 o'clock, somewhere on there, and I could probably still make it. So anyway, I'm here at the gym, so I'm gonna run, do my thing, and see you later. Hey guys, so I am back from the gym. Decided to take the later train, um, which is like 2.18 I think it was. So I'm probably gonna leave in like five minutes or so and catch that train and I should get there by four so the gym was all right um, several machines were broken and like disassembled like just right on the floor it's just so unsafe I don't know why they did that but hi guys so it's about 135 and I am heading to the ball game it's a four o'clock start time so my thinking I usually leave about two hours ahead of time you know two two and a half hours depending uh, since I'm going alone, I, I could probably leave closer and still make it because there's nothing really I need to do when I get there. I usually just go right to my seat and get some food. So there's no sense in being there that early. Um, so I should probably be getting there about 3.30ish or so, which is good timing. It is Latin night actually tonight, so that's going to be interesting. They're going to be giving away coasters, I think. I don't know how I'm going to carry those, but I guess I should have brought a little bag or something. But yeah, I was actually trying to see if I can get tickets for the um, Giants Jets preseason game, um, but even when I started looking last week, the ticket prices were just crazy. And this is preseason, it's not even full season yet. Um, you know, hundred dollars a ticket wasn't was the norm, at least. So tonight's game is a Harvey game. Obviously, I'm wearing the real deal shirt with the K on the back, um, and it's with the Tigers. So it's generally a, a good matchup. Tomorrow, I have my window for the stadium uh, series games for the NHL. The one with the uh, the Devils and the Rangers which is in January, I think January 26th, I think is the date of that game, where the game's going to be outside, and it's going to be uh, at Yankee Stadium, which is really cool. Um, but as customary with, you know, the Devils, their email system is just very weird. Um, so they said they were sending out an email with a, with a purchase window, um, and they sent it. I got it uh, on Friday, telling me my window was on Sunday morning, which was fine. Um, but then I hear other people had their windows start today. So, of course, it's by the tenure and how long you've had your tickets and all of that. And I think that's fair. I mean, you know, why should someone that's been with, the, you know, buying tickets for 15 years or something be bumped by somebody who bought tickets, you know, and only been a member for like a year or two? But their email should really tell you that so that you're prepared for that. Because um, then when you hear things on the side, you know, it kind of annoys you a little bit. It's like, well, you know, they should really tell people that. I mean, it's kind of assumed, but they should make it as clear as possible. Um, I know with the Mets and their um, similar thing for the, um, for the All-Star game, they, they actually said, you know, season ticket holders will be communicated with first based off of tenure and then uh, all 40 season ticket plant holders uh, based off of tenure and then everybody else after. Which was very clear. Um, 
but their window was much shorter. It was only like, you know, eight hours or something from what I remember. This, at least the NHL window is like a week. But obviously if you wait a week, you're not gonna get any good tickets. Um, ticket prices are kind of high, so I don't know what I want. I think I want to sit kind of in the middle. I think those tickets are like 119. Um, I really couldn't afford anything else. If I was working and I knew I had money coming in and everything, I would probably buy a slightly more expensive ticket. Just because it's one of those things where you'll experience it once and it'll probably be a while since you'll experience it again. Alrighty, I made it. It's a little before two, so I got plenty of time to get there. The uh, weekend weight went up by $2 now, so now it's $9 instead of 7 But every year it goes up a dollar or two, so it's not too bad. Still, considering. It's a beautiful day. So um, I got home and uh, the uh, Giants and Jets game was still on, so I watched some of that. Um, actually, it was a pretty good game. It uh, went into overtime, uh, although we lost, the, we meaning the Giants. Um, it was a pretty good game overall. Only exciting part of my day was receiving these um, Mets coasters during Latin night tonight. Here, I'll show you another one. So these are little coasters. They're not the best. They're kind of cheap and flimsy, but it's a coaster. What do you expect? I'm going to call it a day for the vlog, so if you guys enjoy, then uh, feel free to like and share and comment. And I'm going to get some shy, and I'll see you guys in the next one.